So you're struggling with the symptoms of fibromyalgia. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as to the cause of fibromyalgia. I am Dr. Mark Daly. I'm the founder of Fibromyalgia University. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, a nutritional counselor, and a doctor of chiropractic. After working with fibromyalgia patients for over 10 years, I can tell you quite simply that fibromyalgia is caused by multiple layers of dysfunction. No two fibromyalgia patients are exactly the same. Fibromyalgia is a multi-system breakdown. That's why there will never be a single pill to cure fibromyalgia. If you're waiting for that magic pill, you might as well give up. It takes work to recover from fibromyalgia. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Fibromyalgia is not like heart disease where you have a clogged artery. In that case, the condition is revolved around one organ, the heart. Fibromyalgia is the result of your body being overloaded by several issues that finally led to a breakdown or a complete strain to function on a daily basis. Have you ever heard the story of the straw that broke the camel's back? Well, a camel is a strong beast of burden, which can carry heavy loads. Well, a man started loading his camel down with heavy bags, clothing, silver and gold for a long trip. Finally, he put straw on the camel's back, which the camel could eat along the way. Well, when he put the last piece of straw, picture it, on the camel's back, the camel collapsed. The question is, was it the final straw that broke the camel's back or was it the heavy burden he was already carrying? Now, let me relate this to the fibromyalgia patient. And this is just one possible scenario. If you're an American or you live in the West, your diet is less than desirable. It's filled with additives and preservatives, growth hormones and antibiotics, and simply doesn't contain the nourishment your body needs to enjoy good health. So your body is struggling under that heavy load. Consider that layer one, two, and three. Well, over time, these layers cause dysfunction of the gut or the gastrointestinal system. This changes the environment of your gut. The gut or the gastrointestinal system is like the hub of a wheel, the center of a wheel, which has spokes that lead to every other system of your body. Consider this. 90% of serotonin is made in a healthy gut. Serotonin is the happy neurotransmitter and also the controlling neurotransmitter that actually signals other neurotransmitters. 70% of your immune system or more is located in the gastrointestinal system. Many of your B vitamins are manufactured in a healthy gut. Um, your inactive thyroid hormones, T4, are converted to the active form, T3, in a healthy gut and liver. Your gut lining becomes leaky over time. This means that larger than normal molecules as well as waste products slip from this protective gut into your blood. This causes your immune system to attack the larger than normal molecules, which in turn cause systemic or system-wide inflammation as well as food sensitivities. The inflammation causes stiff and sore muscles, joints, aches and pains, brain fog and fatigue, even autoimmune diseases like lupus, Hashimoto's, thyroiditis, um, rheumatoid arthritis, even MS to name a few. Some of you are probably nodding your head now because you've already been diagnosed with some of these other peripheral issues. As the environment of your gastrointestinal system changes, you open the door to things like parasites, more burden, yeast overgrowth, more burden, pathogenic bacteria, more burden. Now, not everyone succumbs to exactly the same issue or issues, but everyone has multiple layers of dysfunction. So you can see that what starts out as a poor diet can lead to layers of dysfunction. I did not even mention the assault your body is under every single day through a toxic environment which we live in, 
chemicals everywhere you look. Your body has to deal with the chemicals you clean with, the chemicals that you breathe in. I've read that we are exposed to 80,000 different chemicals every week. Think about it. The paint on your walls, the glue on your carpet, the chemicals in your deodorant and your cologne, your hair products, your makeup, your dry cleaning, even your cookware. Your body is under constant assault. I've talked to fibromyalgia patients that said their fibromyalgia started after an automobile accident. For them, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I've talked to fibromyalgia patients who broke down after a divorce. For them, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Some of them have no specific event, but a distinct start day, a day that they seem to have fallen apart. For others, it was a gradual decline with no specific start date. As you can see, each fibromyalgia patient has similarities and they have differences. You need to understand that every fibromyalgia patient is suffering under a multiple system breakdown or multiple layers of dysfunction. Now, in order to recover, you simply have got to lighten the load. The lighter the load, the greater the opportunity is for your body to do what it does best, which is heal itself. The first thing that I do with a fibromyalgia patient is an in-depth consultation and review of medical history. And like the layers of an onion, you have to peel off one layer of burden after another. For some, advanced testing is necessary. Uh, we analyze stool or urine, blood, and saliva to look for these roadblocks to health, if you will, or these layers of burden or these dysfunctions. Over time, the result is relief from the symptoms of fibromyalgia and the restoration of health and wellness. This is what I teach at Fibromyalgia University. There are three different portals at fibromyalgiauniversity.com. One is completely free and it contains a ton of information that's vital for your recovery. The other two portals include more direct coaching. It doesn't matter though what your financial situation is. There's something to help everyone. Take a look at the site, leave helpful comments, learn all you can, and apply what you learn. But I want to thank you so very much for your time and attention. I wish you the very best of health.